guys and happy Friday. So do you like my hair? Okay, so let's talk about it. Okay, so this is obviously a weave and a wig that I made for myself. It's a 27 piece that I tried for the first time. I used to have my hair cut like this about, I want to say six years ago. I had my hair cut short, but it was blonde on this side. And I was thinking that I'm going to go back to short hair, but I've at first, I wanted to see what I look like again with short hair to see if that is the route that I want to take. So what I did was I went out and purchased a 27 piece pixie so that I could make myself a short uh, hairstyle. And then I bought myself some um, extra weave so that I could get the length that I was going for. And since I've been rocking purple, I thought I would get purple, which this one has purple and pink highlights in it which I do actually like. So I'm going to tell you my likes and my dislikes first off with this hair. Okay, so like I said, this is a 27 piece and the brand for the 27 piece is called Newborn Free. And it comes with 27 pieces with the top closure, which I did not use the top closure because that thing looks hideous. And I probably should have known when I saw what the top piece looked like that the rest of the hair probably wasn't going to look that great anyways. So when you get a 27 piece, you're supposed to have three different sizes or three different lengths. Well, in mine, mostly all the lengths were about this long, which is supposed to be the third bundle. It's supposed to start off short and then medium and then long. The whole thing was almost this length. I had two short pieces so when I made this wig it looked like it looked like a mushroom as I'm creating this wig and I'm starting to get nervous because I'm thinking this is not going the way that it's supposed to go and it's definitely not looking like how I want it to look so I finished the wig anyways, nonetheless, because I already spent my money um, on the hair. So I finished it and I figured, well, I'm going to have to cut it to see what it looks like. So like I said, I got this hair. No good. So if you guys run across um, newborn free and you're trying to make like a pixie wig, I honestly wouldn't get it because you have to do more work in cutting your hair. And I just honestly wouldn't wouldn't spend the money on it. I will never purchase this ever again. And then I got the hair, the multicolor hair I got. It's not, it's called Dream Hair in Company. In Company. And on the bottom of the bag it says safe curling iron up to 360 degrees. Well, it doesn't curl and it barely bumps with the flat iron. And I've tried for about a half an hour, half an hour trying to flat iron this hair but this is the best that I came up with so won't be buying this hair again I'm glad that I did spend a lot of money though because this hair was $14.99 and then the 27 piece was I believe $13.99 so I didn't spend a lot of money on hair which I'm glad I didn't because I personally feel like this was like an epic fail not totally on my part because I did the best that I could with the hair but I just feel like the quality of the hair no good at all so I won't be doing that again um excuse me for saying um saying that a lot lately I didn't glue my hair on my head I glued it on my mannequin head which I custom made for myself this is my actual head size I use like um ace bandages and duct tape customized to fit my head so I was comfortable enough to put the the wig cap on this and then just glue the the hair the tracks down so I could actually look at it as I was going so I was more comfortable with that but once I took the wig cap off I had to put it on my head to customize it and cut it the way I wanted to cut it to fit my head 
I used um, a razor comb, which is this thing right here, which I totally love. I mean, I feel like this saved my life today. This right here, $2.99. And I also used clippers, barber clippers, with the guards on and with the guards off. So I used the guards on just to get it to flatten to my head. But when I went to do the lineups and stuff, I took the guards off just to do the lineup. But other than that, like I said, this right here saved my life today. I thinned out the hair and it didn't look as crazy. I tried to give myself like a little tail in the back. Um, this right here. I don't know what I'm going to do, but what I think I'm going to have to do is put it back on the wig cap because I was having the hardest time trying to get an asymmetrical cut and I just, I couldn't do it, but I'm going to have to do something because it looks real blunt right now and I feel like maybe I need to go a little bit shorter, but I think it'll work better for me if I take it off my head and put it back on the mannequin and then try to shape it and maybe try to razor cut it a little bit more. But, um, overall the hairstyle, it doesn't, it doesn't look really bad. It took me about an hour to cut this, this wig though. It took me about an hour. And like I said, I feel like I had to do more work because the pieces seem like they weren't, they weren't accurate pieces for that style. It just, it wasn't. From what I've seen, I got more longer pieces than shorter pieces, which I would have much preferred the shorter pieces. But overall, after I used my razor comb and started cutting it, I could actually see that it was starting to look the way I wanted it to look. If you guys want to see me do a video on this, because I'm definitely going to make another one, but I'm going to use another brand of hair, which I should be getting in a couple of days or whatnot, but I'm going to redo it again. And I think I'm going to go and purchase myself some real human hair that will curl and flat iron. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. I don't hate the wig though. I really don't. I don't hate the wig. I feel like it came out pretty good after I chopped it up. Like I said, I mean, I will wear it out. It doesn't look that bad. I would definitely wear it out, but it's not my favorite. So I want to make myself another one because I want to see what it will look like once I use human hair because this part, it is human hair. But like I said, I just didn't like um, how the pieces came in the in the pack so yeah that's it for this hair and I wanted to come and show you guys what it looks like and see what you guys think and if you guys want to actually see how I make this wig I will definitely the next time I make another one I definitely will make a video but if not I won't even waste my time um, sitting in front of a camera trying to angle it and all that stuff to to make the wig but yeah if you guys want to see it I will definitely show you so that's it you guys um thanks for tuning into my channel and I will see you guys on another video real soon bye you want to tell me how it is with the